our lover digital behind council. And uh, I did a couple of the uh, all the other assemblies here to consider. And so with that, knowing the guidance and always knowing it better, you also have to know the reality in which you serve your community. And so there are different questions that you're going to have to face. And these are questions that are different for every local assembly because every local assembly has a different reality that it's serving, a different population, a different demographic that it's serving, a different culture. And so maybe one question that an assembly is thinking is who are the Baha'is in our community? Maybe that's the first question on this continuum. How many children do we have in our community? Maybe that's the second question. And then so on and so on, because you just, you might not know, and that's okay. And then from there, the plans can become more solidified, more systematic, because then you know that the population in which you are working with, and then the wider population of 100,000 or however many that you are serving, then, then those plans can become a little bit more informed. And then perhaps your local assembly already knows these, these types of numbers or the reality. Maybe the question that you're grappling with is, gosh, I think, I think we're, we haven't really visited the number of core activities and the number of friends of the faith that we're serving. Let's revisit that. It's been maybe a cycle or two. Let's see if something has changed. So maybe that's the question that you're going to look at because you're really focused and thinking about now growth beyond your own community. And then maybe another question that an assembly is thinking about is, gosh, it seems like the majority of our Baha'is we haven't seen in a while, and I think we really want to learn more about their reality and the home visits, but not just that that's an end in itself, but it's the beginning. The home visits are a beginning of learning about how to connect with hearts. I think about the life of Abdul Baha. How many home visits do you think he went on? <laughs> Countless, probably. And they probably were all systematic, even though he was jumping from town to town. <laughs> but that's, you know, that's the reality of connecting hearts, right? And even though it's one person of the assembly visiting another person or another family, this this conversation is brought back to the institution to consult on, to understand the reality of your community members, and then to then make, maybe make a plan as an assembly. And then so on and so on. So there's different questions. And so in some questions, I know that there's some assemblies that are facing about social action. They're thinking about these projects that are happening in their community that are really touching the lives of ministers and touching the lives of principals, or teachers, of high schoolers. So these are questions that they're grappling with. They're going, gosh, we have no idea, but we're going to have to learn how to work with teachers and principals and mayors, and we're, this is a new arena. But I guess what I'm trying to say is, in every question, you're not alone. In every assembly, somewhere within our region, or even outside of our region, has faced that question. And so never think that you're alone or that you're the only community that has to face it, but that you can do it with, you know, loving collaboration of your regional council as they had extended the, that invitation in the beginning, as well as the auxiliary board members and their assistants, and also fellow community members, always thinking about the community and consulting with the community members about what they are thinking, what is their perception of the reality of the community. Because that actually really informs the local assembly. You take that reality and then you make a plan and then you just stick with that plan. You stick with that line of action and you see where that goes. You see the fruits. So thank you.